circle concept of circle and its properties circle passing through given points tangent and its properties hello students today we will going to learn a very important topic circle You have studied in class 9th that a circle is a collection of all points in a given plane which are at a constant distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is called center and the constant distance is called radius of the circle. We have studied the basic properties of a circle related to the chords, diameters, seconds, etc. Now we shall study some more properties of a circle. A circle is a simple closed curve. It divides the plane into three regions. Therefore, any point P can be lie in the exterior of circle, or on the circle or in the interior of circle let us now examine the different situations when a circle and a line are given in a plane so let us consider a circle of center o and a line pq there can be three possibilities one the line pq and the circle have no common point. In this case, line PQ is called a non-intersecting line with respect to the circle. 2. There are two common points A and B that the line PQ and the circle have. In this case, we call the line PQ a second of the circle. Now the third possibility, there is only one point A which is common to the line PQ and the circle. In this case, the line is called a tangent to the circle. Tangent and its properties. There is one and only one circle passing through given three non-collinear points. Definition a line in the plane of a circle which intersects the circle in one and only one point is called a tangent of the circle and the point of intersection is called the point of contact. In the line AB is a tangent to the circle at a point P. Theorem 1. A tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. We have given line is the tangent to the circle with center O at P, where P is a point of contact. Segment OP is the radius of the circle through the point of contact P. We have to prove that line L is perpendicular to segment OP. We prove this by supposition. Suppose on the contrary line L is not perpendicular to segment OP. Draw perpendicular from O to line L and B be the foot of perpendicular by assumption P is distinct from B. Let Q 
be the point on L such that point B lies between the point P and Q and PB is equal to BQ. Then in triangle OBP and triangle OBQ. Segment OB is equal to segment OB and they are common in both. Angle OBP is congruent to angle OBQ as OB is perpendicular to line L. Segment PB is equal to segment BQ by construction. Therefore, triangle OBP is congruent to triangle OBQ by SAS test. Segment OP is equal to segment OQ by corresponding sides of congruent triangle. OP is equal to OQ. Therefore, Q is also on the circle. But Q is a point different from P and on line L. We get that line L intersect the circle in two points P and Q which is impossible as L is a tangent to the circle. Hence line L is perpendicular to OP. Theorem 2 The line perpendicular to a radius at its outer end is a tangent to the circle. We have given that point O is the center of a circle. P is a point on the circle. Line L is perpendicular to radius OP at point P. We have to prove that line L is a tangent to the circle. We prove this by considering Q be a point on the line L distinct from P. Segment OQ is hypotenuse of right angle triangle OPQ. Segment OQ is greater than segment OP. Segment OQ is not equal to radius. Point Q does not lie on the circle. No point of the line L other than P lies on the circle and P is the only point common to the line L and the circle. Therefore, line L is a tangent to the circle at P. Theorem 3 the lengths of the two tangent segments from an external point to a circle are equal. We have given that O is the center of the circle and P is a point in the exterior of the circle. Points A and B are the points of contact of the two tangents from P to the circle. We have to prove that PA is equal to PB. For this, we do some construction. Draw segment OA, segment OB and segment OP. We prove it by considering triangle PAO and triangle PBO. Major angle PAO is equal to major angle PBO is equal to 90 degree as tangent perpendicular to radius. In right triangle PAO and right triangle PBO, segment OA is congruent to segment OB as they are radii of same circle. Hypotenuse PO is congruent to hypotenuse PO as they are common side. Therefore, triangle PAO is congruent to triangle PBO by hypotenuse side test. Segment PA is congruent to segment PB by corresponding sides of congruent triangle. Therefore, PA is equal to PB. 
hence proved there are four tangents to a circle at the points a b c and d these four tangents form a parallelogram pqrs if pb is equal to 5 and bq is equal to 3 then find ps solution let cr is equal to x and as is equal to y therefore dr is equal to x and sd is equal to y tangent segments from external points are equal pb is equal to 5 and bq is equal to 3 therefore pa is equal to 5 and qc is equal to 3 tangent segments from external points are equal if we add pq sr and ps qr the right hand side of the above equation is same so left hand side equation must be equal therefore pq plus sr is equal to ps plus qr as equation number 1 as opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent pq is equal to sr and ps is equal to qr as equation number 2 we put the value of sr and qr in equation 1 we get twice pq is equal to twice ps now cancel 2 to both the side and we get pq is equal to ps but pq is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 therefore ps is equal to 8 Let us take one more example. Example number one. Tangent TP and TQ are drawn to a circle with center O from one external point T. Now prove that angle PTQ is equal to two times angle OPQ. Solution. In triangle TPQ, segment TP is equal to segment TQ. Tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. Therefore, angle TPQ is equal to angle TQP is equal to x degree. Suppose to be equation A, angles opposite to equal side. Angle PTQ is equal to 180 degree minus 2x degree. That is one. Sum of three angles of triangle is 180 degree. Segment OP is perpendicular to PT. Angle OPT is equal to 90 degree. Radius perpendicular to tangent. Angle OPQ is equal to 90 degree minus angle tpq angle addition property angle opq is equal to 90 degree minus x degree from a now multiply above equation by 2 we get 2 angle opq is equal to 180 degree minus 2x degree supposed to be equation number 2 from 1 and 2 angle ptq is equal to 2 angle opq hence it is proved summary 
In this lesson, we have learnt concept of circle and its properties. Circle passing through given points and tangent and its properties. So that that is all in this lesson, student. Let us learn touching circles and some theorem in our next topic. Till then, keep learning.